We begin tonight with two leading Republican senators taking on President Trump. One of them standing on the floor of the Senate late today and saying, I rise to say enough. Arizona's Jeff Flake adding, I will not be complicit. It comes just hours after Republican Senator Bob Corker reignited his very public feud with the president. Corker calling the president, quote, an utterly untruthful president. President Trump unleashing a Twitter attack. And tonight, the White House responding. ABC's Mary Bruce leading us off. Standing on the Senate floor, the Republican senator delivered an extraordinary indictment of the Republican president, calling Donald Trump reckless, outrageous, and undignified. I rise today to say enough. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake says he will not run for re-election because he is so disgusted. The personal attacks, the threats against principles, freedoms and institution, the flagrant disregard for truth and decency, the reckless provocations, most often for the pettiest and most personal reasons. And to his colleagues, a warning that, quote, silence can equal complicity. We have fooled ourselves for long enough that a pivot to governing is right around the corner. A return to civility, civility and stability right behind it. We know better than that. Calling it a matter of duty and conscience, Flake now joins a wave of top Republicans ripping into the president. This morning, it was Senator Bob Corker letting loose on GMA. I would just like for him to leave it to the professionals for a while. In response, the president unloaded in a barrage of tweets, claiming he refused to endorse Corker, saying he couldn't get elected dog catcher, and calling the influential head of the Foreign Relations Committee a lightweight, incompetent, adding people like little Bob Corker have set the U.S. way back. Corker, who has called the Trump White House an adult daycare center, tweeting back, same untruths from an utterly untruthful president. Hashtag alert the daycare staff. He told reporters everyone sees through Trump's bullying. And I think that the worst of it is going to be just the poll debasing, if you will, of our nation. You think uh, the president's debasing the nation? Uh, I don't think there's any question. Corker was an early supporter of Trump, but asked if he would do it again. He said, no way. It all comes the same day the president traveled to the Capitol to rally Republicans on tax reform. Mr. President, any comment on Senator Corker? But his feuds are overshadowing his agenda. Does any of this make the president pause and wonder if he is doing anything wrong, that he bears any responsibility? Look, I think the voters of these individual senator states are speaking uh, in pretty loud volumes. I think that they were not likely to be reelected. And I think that shows that the support is more behind this president than it is those two individuals. So let's get to Mary Bruce live on the Hill tonight for us. And Mary, the White House says Senators Corker and Flake are from states that voted for President Trump. But even though they're not running for re-election, they're still around for a while. And the president needs their votes, especially with his big push for tax reform. Exactly. And David, a reminder of the math here. Senate Republicans have just a two vote majority. And now you have two top Republicans who don't feel the pressure of reelection and aren't exactly inclined to just fall in line behind the president. But some Republicans are happy to see them go. A source close to Steve Bannon told ABC News his reaction tonight. Another day, another scalp. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.